hello. Hello, hello, hello. We are in Santorini and we are getting married. <laughs> Float on over. We're getting married in one week's time. One we, week today. One week today, exactly. Um, finally arrived, checked into the most incredible hotel that's like <laughs> nice that we could have even imagined. And everything, the last like, what, 14, 15 months of planning has all culminated in this moment to yeah. like, <sighs> we're here, yeah. my baggage made it. There's been no major, okay, a couple of issues along the way. <laughs> but we're here, we're still together. Yeah, we still like each other. <laughs> we still like each other. <laughs> and yeah, and the time's actually come. So yeah, we are just soaking it all up with a glass of champagne and enjoying the beautiful, beautiful view. Obviously this might end up being a little bit of a, what's that dash? Like a cut together vlog, not my usual style. Please forgive me, big life event. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get away with it. Hey. Not really focusing on the film. No, yet. no, it's not quite the priority. Um, <laughs> but hopefully I love the thought that we will watch this back for years and years and years and years, and years yeah. to come and just remember the most perfect time. Yeah the most perfect two weeks. We've got two days, our family arrived on Tuesday, it's currently Sunday, so we've got two days in this amazing hotel where I don't think we're gonna, it's gonna be hard to get us to leave this yeah. pool. <laughs> and then our family come for a week and spend the week with us. We've got a few events planned in, like welcome drinks and hen do, stag do, all of that. And then we've got the wedding and then we have a like goodbye hangout farewell thing next day and then we come back to this side of the island um, currently in the ear and then we're going back to Imrovigli after the wedding as well for a honeymoon slash mini moon because we're greedy and I want to <laughs> reserve the right for a future honeymoon one day so yeah we are just going to have the most perfect perfect time aren't we? yeah yeah right bye bye <laughs> View. Paul. Jacob. View. And then the room itself. <laughs> Look at you, you smug prick. <laughs> um, the room. Complimentary champagne. Walk in wardrobe. With the cutest little window. It's got like robes, all of that stuff. Back to the room. That's the other side of the room. Here we have a window that goes straight through to the pool and then the bathroom. Hello. Sink of dreams, shower of dreams and into the pool again with the most beautiful view. Good evening, good evening. We have had the most beautiful afternoon where we've just been chilling by the pool, relaxing, and now we are exploring Ia and gonna find somewhere to have a little drink and a little bit of food. We're at a very fancy place. Watching the beautiful sunset. Please ignore the uh, eye patches, absolutely essential um, with jet lag. We have, oh, this looking down my face. I've got so much oil on my face as well, I'm doing gua sha. Anyway, <laughs> we have woken up naturally at only like 6.30, which isn't too bad actually. And yeah, with jet lag, but it was the most beautiful sunrise. So, and it's probably realistically the only one that will actually be awake for, won't it? So yeah, we got straight up out and take videos and photos of it because it is stunning like the sun has risen now it's squinting but you can see just how beautiful and it's so funny there's um there's a spot up there oh where's my finger <laughs> really bad sorry there's a spot up there by the cream more cream looking building 
which is like one of the most famous photo spots that people uh, take photos at. It was the illustration for the thank you cards that I illustrated for our like bridal party and wedding planner and things like that and got printed. And it's just at the top of our stairs here, which is lovely. But yeah, we've been watching like photographers come and go with like sunrise shoots and things like that, which is fun. Um, but yeah, it's impossibly beautiful. Like we cannot get over it and yeah. Just enjoying our coffee now and then this morning we are the luckiest people in town. We have a couple's massage like coming to the balcony, so 90 minute massage each. Um, just on the balcony, looking at this beautiful, beautiful view. Bliss, 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 bliss. Breakfast is served. Wow. We have orange juice, lemonade, cappuccino and a espresso, um, avocado toast with poached eggs, oh my god, pastry of the day, yum, donuts, oh they're so cute, uh, and some thyme honey because Jake fancied it, and then that bagel which looks incredible. And just for posterity, let's show you the view every single time I show you something that's happening at the balcony. <laughs> Yourself a partner with ADHD, they said. It'd be fun, they said. <laughs> Sit still. <laughs> hello, hello. We have had the most beautiful morning sunbathing and just chilling, and we are now out for Euros and a beer. We also had an amazing massage. Yes, I think. Yes. Did I tell you about that? I can't yeah. remember. Um, we. It was incredible. Um, 90 minute massage. I think I did. I definitely maybe. told them that we were maybe. about to have it. And oh my yeah. god, it was sublime. Yeah, just yeah. incredible. And then just flopped by the pool mm. for yeah. the morning, read a bit. And then yeah, we are yeah. gonna enjoy Euros. Yeah, no, yeah, we've come around to like a little quiet alley out of the way. It's quite busy in here today actually. So yeah. hiding out of the way, gonna start off the day with a nice beer. I'm really looking forward to some nice Greek beer and a, no, and a Euros. And we've got a Greek salad coming as well, which I was made. And... Sorry, I'm just using your hands. Yeah, go for it, babe. Hello, I've got a new hat. Look, <laughs> the other one was giving Farmer Jacks, not Santorini. <laughs> We are doing a lovely walk between kind of Ia and not as far as Vera. But I just wanted to mention, because it's like 2 p.m. or something, we've been out indefinitely the hottest part of the day, which is naughty. But look at how quiet it is. Because everyone's really sensible and is inside is everyone else sensible? in the shade. <laughs> but yeah, because we were out this morning. What time were we out this morning? I can't remember, but it was ridiculously busy and like painfully busy. Whereas now, a lot nicer. Good evening guys, we are all dressed up and ready to go. Look at us. This is not wise me doing this in stiletto heels um, up some stairs, but we are ready for dinner. The sun is setting. We are going to a very nice restaurant which is literally like at the top of our stairs, hence me wearing stiletto heels. Uh, Jake's dressing so we have about two minutes to get there and I'm using those two minutes to talk to you guys um, So I will chat to you when we have a glass of wine in hand or not. I might talk to you tomorrow. Bye dinner it was a wonderful dinner wasn't it it was very delicious very healthy light portions we are now sat enjoying the view can you believe that it's insane um i'm finishing off the bottle of sparkling rosé 
don't know what it was. Rose Prosecco? Yeah. Yeah. That we started earlier. Responding to lots of messages. It's really nice actually. Like both of us are feeling a lot of the love from the world. Like because all of our family and friends are arriving tomorrow. Or like some are arriving in dribs and drabs through the week. But most of them are arriving tomorrow. So we've got a lot of people who've been watching our like stories on Instagram and stuff. Being very excited to come out here. And it's just, it's very surreal, like, having a little holiday, the two of us, and then just randomly everyone we know and love is going to join us. Yeah, it's going to be very, very exciting. Um, so yeah, just enjoying our last evening in Ia, in this beautiful, beautiful hotel. So sweet. It's, yeah, literally a dream. Literally. Oh, I'm just going to show you the view again. Another gorgeous morning. What else does that say? It's just ice, really. Mm. <laughs> we have our family coming to join us today. Um, everyone's at the airport, ready and raring to go. Did I tell you about my two little dramas? Let's add some peril to this. <laughs> so, yesterday we had this. Um, 90 minute massage which was amazing I asked for it to be firm and then had to quite quickly afterwards be like could you make it less firm that was so painful and she's let me see if you can see I don't know that you can on my arm um, she burst a blood vessel and the whole thing's bruised so that's good um, <laughs> that's good that that's happened a few days before we get married hopefully I mean, you can't tell that much. It just looks a bit suspicious because it's the sort of bruise that you only get from like squeezing. And I've never heard of anyone being massaged so hard they got bruised. <laughs> so yeah, there was that. And then yesterday um, we were tucking into a lovely homemade bread basket and I've broken my fixed retainer on the back of my teeth, which is so annoying it's the sort of thing i just have to get to a dentist and get them to glue it but i'm in santorini for two weeks so and we didn't invite any dentists to the wedding annoyingly just doctors so yeah i'm having my friends who haven't arrived yet on a wild goose chase to get me some like denture glue or something just to fix it in place so that i can eat for two weeks otherwise it's soft food it's fine i can get around it but not ideal bad timing but hopefully that's the last two things only two and last two things that are going to happen but yeah waiting for brekkie now breakfast is served how stunning i know i just keep showing you this view but anyway we've got scrambled eggs with tomato and chili and stuff fruit and then avo toast here with poached eggs filled coffee for cat cat What's this, darling? Cake and spreads? Yeah, there's like jams and it's homemade cake. And, and then there's like croissants and in the basket and... again. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. For some reason, we only operate on urgency. Yeah, my tooth's got worse. Um, it's definitely come off one more tooth. So we've booked an emergency dentist appointment doing a last minute, run around, check out, get all of our stuff. <laughs> um, and then we we're gonna spend the morning in the dentist rather than, you know, exploring when we're gonna go to a moody bay, but no time. Gotta get the dental emergency sorted, which is fair enough to be fair. Yeah, bye room. I'm so sad to be leaving this place. Oh, let me move that pillow. Okay, bye. All fixed. We have arrived in our hotel room for the week, which is very nice, very nice. So we have the basketball. Don't know why I'm doing that accent, sorry. And then that's the balcony. And we are going to dash out, get some euros before everyone arrives. So we will see you there, bye. 
Hello, we have just had lunch. Um, I thought I would just do a quick fit check because I look like Meredith Blake, it's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> yep, just checked. Yeah, both fit. Um, I've got a little dress from Zara, a hat from Santorini, bag from Bali, this is going well. Oh, there you go. Little Chloe sandals. Um, I've got a white, oh, nearly flashed here, I won't do that. White Tyler bikini on underneath and we are going to go say hello to our family. Also, red lipstick, which I feel like is a whole vibe. Morning. We have a very busy day ahead of us. Um, yesterday was manic with all of the family arriving, um, getting all settled into the new hotel. All had a big dinner together. Um, went for a walk along the beach and stuff, which was lovely. Um, just very manic and <laughs> lots of people to coordinate. Um, but today, we have kind of the first full day and obviously everyone had traveled yesterday and so everyone's quite tired. Today we're just heading down for breakfast now, see everyone there. And then I've got my hair trial from 11. And then we have a family hen. Uh, so with all of the ladies of both families, we are going to a really nice place in Carissa called Wet Stories for like a nice late lunch, a few drinks. There's gonna be some sashes, you know, the, the sort of typical Hindu vibes. And then later on this evening, we're having a welcome white party, um, which should be amazing. I can't wait for that to see everyone. So yeah, off for breakfast. Hello, I've had my um, hair trial now, which I forgot to show you, but maybe that's good to make a surprise. Um, and then she restyled it. Uh, so it's kind of half up, half down. And I'm ready for my family hen. So this is, sorry about the suitcase. I need to move this. Ah. So this is the dress, got my hair with the extensions in, got the hat on because I forgot to put SPF on because I'm naughty, just normal slides, I was going to wear heels but um, it's not vibe. So yeah, this is the outfit and I'm going to go, I look like I'm going to the south of France, it's not very, no it is very Santorini. But yeah, I will take you to what stories now, bye. bad because I'm very much talking to you guys in between the big moments. Um, obviously I'm trying really really hard to like soak in every moment and be cliche but be present and be you know part of it and making the most of it. So we are currently, I've finished the hen brunch. No I keep calling it a hen brunch, it was originally a hen brunch then I had to move it back. Oh no the train does look better. Yeah your first instinct was better, sorry. I was wrong. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we changed it to a late lunch with um, the families from, uh, the women's from... Now. Someone's had some wine. I want all of the women's. <laughs> anyway, um, it was the women from both families all coming together for a little handu, uh, which was absolutely lovely. We had lots of wine, lots of really good food, played some like nice, tame kind of hen party game type things. Is a janky. And then now we are back. I am trying to get refreshed. I've got like fake tan on and stuff ready for. We've got a welcome white party tonight. So we're hosting a few drinks at our hotel bar this evening, which will be amazing. So we are just currently having a bit of downtime as well, which I think is really important for both of us to be, you know, relaxing in between all of this madness, like having hydrolytes, putting these on, chilling, relaxing, actually talking to each other and yeah, making the most of it. Um, but also doing some Wedmin. So today I have been doing, so we've got the menus, um, which actually, the more I look at them, all of the paper, like all of the stationery is this color. I got these printed and online it looked, I designed these and online the color looked like that. And when I printed them, they came out like that, but I'm hoping it will be fine. I really, I don't, nobody else will notice. <laughs> this is what I keep telling myself, but yeah, the color's annoying me, but anyway. Uh, so these are the menus, I'll show you the grooms, so we've got a vegetarian menu and then the non-veggie menu, it's a family style buffet, hence all of the options. Um, and then we have, we're going to have little baskets that have everyone's stuff in, all of that stuff. And then on each seat for the bridal party we have these seat tags 
um, which is going to be tied with this ribbon. So I'm currently just cutting this ribbon to length and then that'll be ready to give to the wedding planner. We also have all of these gift bags, which are for the bridesmaids. So each of these Oh my god, Shein is just the best. Um, <laughs> got Shein bags. I printed out these tags in the kind of standard colour and our like signature font from the wedding. Um, and then fed through these ribbons, also Shein, to make it look a bit more chic. It's all go. There's so much going on. Hello, we are on the way to the white party. Um, I'll get Jade to show you my outfit in a second. It's a very, very nice little white dress. One second. And then we have Mr. Grimmy. Oh, you're gorgeous. Hello! We've just finished the welcome white party. We're back in the room. Hey guys. With a box of Edward. <laughs> a way to end a wild night oh my god we're just like it's actually the nicest thing we literally just sat here like dissecting the evening being like oh my god did you see this person talking to this person and oh it was so nice when yeah this person said this yeah obviously being the first time that we've spoken to everyone in or like seen everyone yeah like, like, so far we've had friends have no so so far so far we've had family here yeah but tonight was the first night where our friends have started arriving and sort of sealed my friends as well mm and for context our friends kind of know each other from school yeah but we're never in the same circles so like they're all mingling and getting to know each other and catching up and things yeah it was just so nice to see everybody catching up again mm. it was just so lovely like it really really feels like i don't know like kicking off the wedding we like we kind of knew that this was going to feel like that but it was incredible yeah it was amazing yeah it's a mini wedding Everyone in white as well, it just looked so chic. It was incredible, amazing. Like the footage that I got was absolutely shit, which is gonna be the case for the whole week. It's just gonna be us talking to you about it from yeah. the wedding, um, sorry, from our hotel room. But hopefully that gives a bit of a behind the scenes, I guess. And then we've gotta to go to sleep and go to the gym early in the morning. We're booked in for nine. Good luck to us. Good night. Morning. We're actually feeling quite, um, quite good today. We booked the gym from 9am, so we're just running down getting a quick coffee and breakfast first and then we'll be going to the gym and having a little workout, do a little, um, get a pump on before our head and stag. I've got my head from like one-ish, I think. Um, the girls have planned it all for me, they've like not really told me anything other than wear like chic beachwear um, and Jake's going on his stag which has been um he's been a bit more involved in the planning of it but yeah you're doing a wave bar yeah you're going to one of the beach bars yeah a beach bar in the island and then scott who's my best man and best friend yeah has booked me into a brewery tour i thought it'd be really nice yeah should be amazing so we're carting around a fair bit and we're not as as this is it's going to be probably as easy and coordinated as yours yeah oh, well. be really nice. it'll be wonderful so yeah Hello, all done with a very sweaty workout. Um, <laughs> look, we've just come back to our room and how cute is that? I've, every day our um, housekeepers keep putting in little flower cuttings for us. It's so nice. I've just been given my first little bit for the hen do. Um, it's my first gift. <laughs> so cool, I love them. This was like one of the things which I was like, I need them, I, I need them. This guy's off to his stag do. <laughs> and I'm off to the pool for an hour. Bye. Hello. Do we reckon this vlog is literally just me running around being like, sorry, I'm trying to put my engagement ring on. Uh, um, yeah, do we think it's literally just me running around being like, oh, we're going to this place, we're going to this place. Oh, for goodness sakes. <laughs> um this to be fair you're having the same experience that all of our family and friends are i feel we're very like thinly spread um but i'm ready for my hen do part two <laughs> we've got part three coming later do a fit check um so i have on a swimsuit um and then this little police set chloe sandals little basket bag the hat which has become an absolute staple 
and obviously the Hendy sunglasses, amazing, we love it. I actually think it would look better without the hat, but it's hot and I need to protect my face. Um, okay, I'm going down, we need to get some lunch, my sister and I are just gonna have a quick bit to eat and then, and then we'll do whatever we're doing. It's all very exciting. I'm gonna put a watch on, no I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hello, you'd be forgiven for thinking this might be the next morning. However, instead, it's actually still the Hendu. We are still middle of the Hendu. My friends are such legends, they know me so well that they have organised in an hour for me to go home after, so we went to, sorry, we went to a pool bar, um, had a few drinks, played a few games, it was so chill, so just like the perfect afternoon with your friends ever, it was amazing. And then we have got a pit stop back at the hotel, time to like freshen up, I've washed my hair because the slick back bum was not a vibe with the dress that I'm wearing tonight. Quickly undo my makeup, refresh, and then we're going out for dinner, I think. I, yeah, I don't actually know where we're going or what we're doing. Yes, going to continue the evening. Is that not your perfect, like your idea of absolute perfection in the middle of the party, being able to just come home and freshen up? It's amazing. So yeah, I'm just gonna, my sister's on her way to the room to come do her makeup with me. And it also means that I get time to like, I know this is really lame, but like have this entire thing filled with hydrolyte and vitamin C, which is the trick to getting through an entire wedding week. Cause I feel like it's a very much marathon <laughs> of trying to like get through all of the activities without like flagging, without getting tired. Yeah, I'm, we're doing it. It's going well, it's going amazingly. We're having the best time. Hello, we're on the way to the hen. I'm in this dress um, and yeah, we're going to get into a big black Mercedes minibus to go somewhere and I don't know where. Good morning, good morning. It's the morning after the hen do and stag do. Um, we're surprisingly well. Yeah, not too bad. A bit tired. Um, but yeah, neither of us are sick, which is the main thing. That's <laughs> what we're both worried about, I think. Yeah. But yeah, tell me about yours. What did you mm. do? Went to the Eros Way 1. Mm. Which is actually nice. Like, the beach there is really nice. It's got like a Samsung cliffs. Mm. And we basically sat and chilled and swam and just kept ordering buckets of beers. Buckets of beers, lads. Yeah. Got another bus to go to Delos Brewery. Oh yeah? Had a little brewery tour and then had like a tasting platter. What do they specialise in? Do they have like ales or lagers? Yeah, it's like a sort of like a classic brewery that do a bit of everything. They got like Pilsners, pop, pop lagers. And then they did a couple of sours and um, a double of happy egg and stout. Mm. And then we stayed there, we had some more drinks there, then went into fear. Mm. Tell, me, tell me about your day. So we got a taxi to a place called Jojo's, which is in Carissa. It's beautiful. Is it down, so it's a beach right and pool bar. I'm not sure what's Oh, yeah. So, um, sorry, sorry, it's a beach and pool bar. Beach and pool bar, but we were just in the pool there. We had like a bed hired. And the girls have done like a balloon arch so thing, uh, like within this day bed. We actually had way more space than we needed because we were all trying to like stay in the shade. Yeah. So we had this bed with all the balloons and we had two beds in front of it, like overlooking like the ones that like sit over the pool. Yeah. And so we just like, we were chilling in the pool, had a few cocktails, 
And then I got gathered back onto the bed, like all got gathered back onto the bed with um, like morphers and stuff. And then they gave me the scrapbook. Oh yeah. So yes. it was, let me show you. Yeah. I've got Charlie written all over it. Um, and then yeah, it's just loads of photos, like some of ours, but mostly of like me and the girls. Oh God, I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> so cute. And then like, they all wrote this one. I was like oh sobbing God, wow. already. And then the rest of them, I was just a mess for. But yeah, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, I'm sure you do that. Yeah, lots. I cried lots. And then um, to lighten the mood with my Mr. and Mrs, which was very cute. How did very I do? nice. It made me miss you a lot. <laughs> it made me be like, why are you not here? This isn't fair. <laughs> You're the main person I want to do. <laughs> That's so nice. And then we left there. Best thing ever on a Hindu. Coming back to the hotel, having time to shower, wash my hair dry it, style it. Have, yeah. have, I had a whole thing of bits of hydrolyte with some nice. I'm speaking about giant dabs of water. Yeah. Hello, it's the quickest turnaround known to man at the moment. We've had breakfast and we're going to the pre-wedding meeting. Um, so quick last minute run around, getting everything. Jake's got the suitcase full of decorations. And yeah, we're all ready. We're just trying to like gather everyone at the moment. Make sure that everyone's ready. actually the evening. Um, I have not spoken to you in I don't know how long, a couple of days, a couple of days. Um, or was it yesterday? I don't know. That is exactly how my week has been. Um, I am exhausted. It is, yeah, as I say, the day before, um, I was supposed to be going out for drinks this evening, like pre-dinner drinks with my friends. And I just, I've had to cancel, which I feel really shit about. Um, like really did not want to have to, but I am just so tired. You can probably see, so obviously I am wearing a lot of makeup. Um, I have like, look at these bags under my eyes. I know obviously I'm like creating them, but yeah, I am running off about five hours sleep a night um, at the moment. And I am a solid like nine hours kind of girl. Um, so, and actually the room, so the hotel room isn't looking too bad, but it needs to be completely photo ready um, for photographers and videographers coming and taking photos and videos of us, t uh, yeah, tomorrow, oh my God. So yeah, I'm going to be tidying it, just making sure it's like spick and span and perfect. And then going for dinner with my family and then getting an early night, I need desperately to drink water and sleep a lot. So yeah, I'm actually feeling really good about all things wedding, other than the fact that I'm tired. Um, that's the only thing that I'm like feeling funny about. Um, not funny about, but like the only negative feeling. Everything else, I'm just like, I'm mostly excited more than anything. Like I, I'm not nervous about anything. Um, a couple of people have said, have we got cold feet? I'm like, no, like I've been apart from Jake for an hour today and I miss him. Like I literally just texted him saying I miss him. It's pathetic. Um, so yeah, no, don't um, have cold feet at all. Just feeling like I'm excited for it, but then I'm also like, I don't want it to be over. That's one of the main feelings is like, I really don't want the day. I almost don't want the day to start because I don't want it to end. Does that make sense? But it has to, I'm not aware of that and it will be amazing. I'll see you when I see you, maybe as Mrs. Scully, who knows? <laughs> Hello, 
now. I'm in the middle of my wedding day. I've had a moment to just take a second and come back to the windmill. I just thought I'd show you. There's not even much to see. It's just, I want to remember this. Everyone's having the dinner in the cave, which is not the plan, but I'm chill. I'm very chill. Um, and then we're just about to go do the first dance. And yeah, wedding dress shot. <laughs> it's the worst vlog position of my life. Bye. Woken up a whole husband and wife. <laughs> it's so nice. We're in the windmill. It's an absolute dream staying here. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I'll show you the view in a second. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're just we're impatiently waiting for everyone else to wake up so we can scroll through photos of the <laughs> day. Um, but I don't feel like we've got any. Yeah, that is the thing with having a professional photographer is it's taken out of your hands and you just want to have them, don't you? But... Yeah, we've got all of the disposable cameras got filled up, which I'm so excited to get mm. those all developed. But yeah, oh, it was literally just the most perfect day. It was in the honestly world. better than we ever could have imagined. It's well, amazing. Yeah, better than I could have imagined. I'm sure you. No, imagined. it was yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, it just worked so perfectly the whole day. Yeah, it was gorgeous, and the venue is, oh my god. You know, a massive windmill tattooed on my rib cage. <laughs> so that's what we've woken up to. It's ridiculous. Stunning. It's an absolute joke. Um, we might go in the pool now and then have brekkie. Mm -hmm. I think we should do that. Yeah, what time are we on? Half past nine. Yeah. We've got half an hour before brekkie. Yeah, that sounds good. Have to put ten minutes in the pool. Take some pictures. Lovely. Get ourselves ready for some breakfast. Love you all. Bye. I can't remember if I already showed you the view, guys. So we're in a literal windmill. <laughs> it's a joke. It's an absolute joke. Got brekkie, guys. Looks amazing. We've got so much of it. And this is the view. It's insane. <laughs> 